A little morning scoot. Ooh. That guy ahead of me almost just fell. You know, it's... I should be wearing a helmet too because all it takes is one little mistake like that. And he was going not too fast, but it's kind of dangerous. There's a lot of people that ride this trail early in the morning. It's actually not that early. It's about 10, 9.30. And uh, I usually ride this a lot because it's just an easy way for me to commute to where I need to get to. Just on my bike, so. But my bike is shifting very awkwardly and I keep trying to get it to click into the right gear but I haven't ridden this bike in a while so need some work see if I do this there we go so we got some people jogging it's a lot of joggers too on this trail and a lot of guys that ride these tandem bikes and stuff that go pretty fast through here, you know. I, a lot of these joggers, I've seen them yell at them and stuff, saying, hey, you know, don't be coming through here like it's a racetrack. Because there's other people on it, you know. So. But this trail loops from Sandy all the way to um, gosh, I think Milwaukee. Could be wrong, but this is the trail that they take when they go to the coast and when they're riding the Seattle to Portland and the Hood to Coast. I believe this is the the trail they take. So a lot of people out this morning, and uh, it's good to see other people out doing their thing, not leaving too much of a carbon footprint. Not that I'm really too concerned about all that, but just because people have to do what they gotta do to get around, and that's totally understandable. But I myself find the quickest, cheapest route possible usually. <laughs> so I also wanna give a shout out to a couple other bloggers today. I wanna give a shout out to Scott Yukin. Scott Yukin is definitely uh, inspiring me to do more of these videos. I really like watching his channel in Japan over there. It's pretty cool. And then also Mark Fun Jones. I shouted him out in my vlog this morning, but his drives to work in the morning are cool, man. I like getting up, having my coffee, and watching his little rides. And I thought about doing this this morning because he always shows his little route to work. So. I'm gonna switch hands real quick. So sorry if the camera's shaky or if the wind's bad or whatever. I heard Adam say that yesterday in the live vlog. And you know, you take tips from all these pros, dude, that have been doing this for years on end. And it's pretty cool to gain the knowledge of different YouTubers out here. And you know, I only got two people right now on my channel. <laughs> But I feel like if I do some cool things that people will probably watch because I feel like in my life there's been so many different times that I've seen cool things or have done cool things and god dang, I wish I had that on camera, you know. So, hopefully this is somewhat entertaining, I don't know. I know one thing, this bike's not gears on it are not doing too hot and also I like the Swedes like Adam gave a shout out to yesterday and I also like Black Bigot you know at first I didn't know how, what to think of those two guys um, I, I actually I think I saw one of their channels through Dave TV which I like Dave TV at first I was eh, I don't know man I don't know that's me doing Mark Jones doing Dave. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. 
but anyways I like black bigot and I like the Swedes their channels are interesting they're definitely like probably are PG 13 I don't know when other youtubers keep it clean you know and there's a certain audience that everybody's got to do this and that and you know I kind of want to keep that channel this the kind of want to keep this channel like that you know so we're coming up on an old uh, train station this uh, used to actually be a train station through here um, they eventually it was gravel when I first moved out here in the late 80s and then they paved it but the train used to roll through here and um, in fact you can see up here there's like an old it's like an old train trestle where you could actually see remnants of the tracks um, at one point um, but they turned this little this was like a boarding station I believe for the train Club Paisano this is called Cedarville and I believe Cedarville was the first guy or mayor of Gresham I could be wrong I don't I didn't google it or use my Colombo like research like Adam says he does but anyways here's the little this is an old train station Lindman station is what it's called and uh, so yeah this is my little vlog of the day but this used to be where people would stop and actually board the train and they turn it into like you know like bathrooms or something for people to use now but, but you guys might want to see that and so anyways just keep uh keep following me today and see where i head i got a couple different places i'm gonna go and i think i'm gonna do a couple videos today so i'll talk to you guys later peace